Hey guys, so as you all know, I set up my t-shirt store about three weeks ago from now. I'm still in profit, it's the first dropshipping store I've ever set up that's profitable. So I thought I'd take the time to just sit down and probably talk about how the t-shirt store was built, how it's set up, the structure, and how I'm planning on making it more profitable in the future. So for those of you who don't know, I've been looking into dropshipping for the last five, six months on this channel, exploring different options and um, projects and the t-shirt store is the first project that I've built that actually returned a profit. So I created the t-shirt store on Shopify, that's the platform that allows you to have your online store with products that people can come along and buy from. And a plugin to Shopify that I used to create the shirts was the plugin Printful. So what Printful does is they are the service that allows you to go into their website, upload your designs onto shirts, jumpers, mugs, quite a lot of different products really. I'm just focusing on t-shirts at the moment, but you can choose from any product you want, even iPhone cases, laptop cases. You go onto Printful, design your products, and then those products automatically sync with your Shopify store account and get uploaded to your Shopify store. So that's the two sort of main technologies I'm using. I'm using Shopify as the storefront and Printful to make my shirts. <clears throat> and as well as allowing you to design shirts, Printful also acts as the dropshipper. They print and post any orders that you get through your Shopify store. It's great. The, the two platforms talk to each other automatically. So all you have to do really is create the t-shirts, create the products, and then everything else is automated. It's a really good dropshipping system completely automated after you've uploaded your t-shirt designs. So my t-shirt store has been online for about 20 days now, maybe 21 days, three weeks. I've had 21 shirt sales. I've made, that equates to $370 in sales. And from that, $155 of those $370 worth profit that, I, that comes to me. The rest goes to Printful. Um, you know, they do the part of printing the shirts and posting them, so they take the majority of the profits, and I was left with $155 profits from my shirt sales, there's 21 shirt sales. Of that $155 profit from my shirt sales, I've actually spent $145 on Facebook advertising. So I'm using Facebook advertising to drive visitors through to my site and to drive those sales. <clears throat> In the three weeks I've had my store live, I've had 1,000 visitors roughly to my site. Three quarters of that, so 66%, around 660 visitors, have come from social um, channels. And you know, reading into that between the lines, they've come from Facebook. So they've come as a result of the Facebook adverts that I've been putting, I've been paying Facebook to put on their platform to customers who match the interests um, of the potential customers that I determine would be interested in these products. So I've only really had two shirt sales successes so far, and they have both been movie theme related. So when the new train spotting film trailer came out about three weeks ago, on the day I launched my site, I made a train spotting themed t-shirt. That sold 20 shirts just from that one design. And then last week when the new Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them movie came out, so the Harry Potter movie, I made a Harry Potter themed jumper to go alongside the, um, the, press, the, the film release. And that's only actually sold one jumper. But those are the only two products I've managed to sell. I've actually designed five shirts, but the only two that have sold have been the shirts that have um, given a nod to some popular movies that are out at the moment. So I think from that, like I can draw the conclusion that <clears throat> designs that refer to popular trends and fads of the moment are more likely to sell than other shirts. I made some other designs that didn't really have anything to do with what was happening at the moment, any, any popular trends. I pumped money into the advertising there and it got no attention whatsoever. The shirt started design that were related to current movies that were coming out and current trailers that were being released and people were talking about, got all the sales. Like I said, that train spotting shirt got 20 sales alone. And if you take, like I said, I did $145 in advertising. 
That was across all the five designs that I've um, created so far. But if you look at just the two shirts I've designed that have got sales, the Train Spotting one and the Harry Potter, I've actually only pumped about $60 of advertising into that. And I've got $155 in profit. So I'm really left with $95 of profit if I had just focused on those two areas for my designs. <clears throat> so I think moving forwards, I'm only going to design um, products that refer to a current trend and fad. And I think the movie direction is probably going to be a profitable thing to explore. And I'm going to look into other things as well, like games, TV shows, current news stories. But I think there is something to designing products that relate to current trends, current things that have been spoken about. You know, you've already got the hype there and you've just got to tap into that buzz. Um, and I think you're more likely to get sales if you design something yeah, that's on the, already on the tip of people's tongues. <clears throat> so moving forwards, like I said, I've been using Facebook advertising to drive traffic to my store. The store is built on Shopify and Printful. You can get the links below to those platforms so you can set stores up yourself using those technologies. And I'm using Facebook advertising to drive people to my site by creating ads and putting like targeting into the Facebook ads to make sure those ads only get delivered to the people who will be interested in my product. So for the train spotting shirt, I targeted people that have shown an interest in the original train spotting film, in Irvine Welsh, the author of the book, and also the train spotting soundtrack. Like Facebook is that specific, you can really drill down and be that specific in who you target. With the Harry Potter film, I targeted people that were interested in the Harry Potter books, the Harry Potter movies, and I got a sale from that too. So moving forwards, I'm going to be relying on the Facebook advertising platform more. It's pretty cheap to use and you can really, really drill down on your targeting. And I'm going to be making products that are based on current trending topics and current fads at the moment. A lot of that money I've sold you, I've spent $145 on advertising, about $60 of the advertising was on the products that are sold. But I've been really learning as I'm going. I, I started advertising with Facebook advertising not having a clue how to use that platform. So I've feel like as I learn how to use Facebook advertising more, I'm going to be more efficient and more effective with my money and the uh, return on investment, so the profit I get back compared to what I spend on advertising is going to be even greater. I'm, I'm watching like Facebook advertising tutorials on YouTube all the time and I feel like my knowledge on Facebook advertising compared to three weeks ago when I started to now is so much greater and I can really use that to my advantage. So moving forwards, I'll let you guys know how the whole targeting trending topics go. Anything really useful and interesting I learn about um, Facebook advertising that will be beneficial to you guys, I'll share with you. And anything I learn about Printful and Shopify that seems useful and I think it's going to be valuable for you, to you guys as well. If you want to set up your own t-shirt store or your product store, I'll share on this channel too. So make sure you subscribe to the channel Start Starting Up where I explore um, online business income opportunities and also personal finance adv advice and share that with you guys as I learn new things and also I share my mistakes so you guys can avoid making those mistakes yourself. Stay tuned for the next video. There's a video every Thursday and in the meantime, have a good week. See you next week.